Hi, this is Liz Kim, founder of Cups and Cups. If you're struggling to find a place that accommodates your pets and satisfies your cravings at the same time, you are always welcome to Cups and Cups. You're listening to Mac on AFL Radio. Good afternoon, welcome to AFLRadio.com. I am Mag, it is Monday and it's time to talk about food. Now in the studio with me, I have the owner and founder of uh, Cups and Cups, Liz Kim, Cubs and Cups. How did it come about? I mean, this idea to me is brilliant. Basically, it, it just came about from the, from the fact that I love dogs, I love food. And you wanted um, to I combine them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I wanted to combine everything together. <laughs> okay. And um, since since I raised dogs as well, so um, the whole idea was behind being with my dogs like 24/7. Okay. While yeah, while I work. You say that you guys are a pet friendly shop, right? Yeah. So you welcome any kind of pets, not yes. just dogs. Nope. We've had cats. We've had um, snakes. Mm -hmm. Bunnies. Bunnies. Yes. Really? Yes. Okay. People do bring them in. And snakes, <laughs> yes, really? Yes. <laughs> We've had like snakes crawling on oh, the no. table. Oh <laughs> no! It's pretty cool though. It's it's really cool to see all the, you know, you know the people in Malaysia. They have, they do have that heart, you know, of of loving animals. Mm -hmm. Whether it be dogs or cats or snakes, everyone just comes together. So. It's a really cool thing to see at the shop when when customers get to socialize with other customers, mm -hmm. and you know they start talking about their pets yep. and how they raise their pets. It's like it's like you know people talking about their children. Yes. So yeah, it's 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 nice. It's very nice.